conventional control stick and rudder pedals are used to regulate the aircraft's position in both the VTOL and CTOL modes of operation. The collective stick and twist grip throttle are used only for vertical takeoff and landing. The two engine throttles provide varying speed control for the conventional flight mode. Prior to the liftoff, the pilot completes the pre-flight check of the control system. With all systems functioning properly, a signal is given to start engines. The ignition switch is engaged and the turbines spin. The engines require 10 to 15 seconds to reach full operational speed. Their combined capability produces 5,316 pounds of thrust for conventional flight. Further conventional and VTOL control and power systems checks are made. After satisfactory operational verification, the flaps are lowered. This opens the pitch fan louvers and the exit louvers of the wing fans. The conversion switch on the collective stick is moved to VTOL position, which actuates the diverter valves and diverts the thrust from the tailpipe to the three fans. As the power is increased on the collective stick's twist grip throttle, the fan RPM builds and the XV-5A rises to a hover position. Additional power is applied, and the aircraft continues its vertical climb. When the immediate terrain obstacles are cleared, fan thrust is increased to correspond to the desired rate of ascent. Forward acceleration is gained with the beeping of the vectoring switch located at the top of the control stick. A climbing right turn is negotiated as the simulated flight rapidly exceeds the aircraft's stalling speed. The pilot throws the conversion switch from the BTOL to the conventional takeoff and landing position, actuating the diverter valves to channel the thrust out the tailpipes and close the wing fan inlet doors. He then raises the flaps, which close the pitch fan inlet louvers and wing fan exit louvers. Landing gear is raised. Power is increased until the XB-5A approaches desired cruise speed and altitude. Standard aircraft controls and instruments are used during conventional flight. Approaching the simulated destination, the pilot prepares for a vertical landing. Engines are throttled back for the desired rate of descent. The landing gear and flaps are extended. The pitch fan inlet louvers are opened and the wing fan exit louvers are positioned. During this phase of the conversion, the pilot positions the aircraft in a slightly nose-up attitude. Thrust spoilers are deployed as power is increased. The collective stick is moved to mid-range and the conversion switch is positioned to the VTOL mode. The exit louvers are programmed by the stick's thumb switch to attain the desired sink rate. The control stick is used to establish the desired attitude of the aircraft. The pilot aligns his aircraft with the landing site. Forward speed decreases as the aircraft remains slightly nose up. The aircraft is brought to a hover and leveled prior to touchdown. The pilot controls the rate of descent with the twist grip throttle and by lowering the collective stick. Pitch attitude is regulated by the control stick with yaw being corrected with the rudder pedals. The wing fan exit louvers are deflected to zero degrees with the power setting controlling the vertical speed. The XV-5A slowly descends to a spot landing. The simulated flight is completed as the pilot brings the aircraft to rest within the limits of the prescribed landing area. In this sequence, the Ryan simulator has realistically demonstrated the operational characteristics of the XV-5A and shown the simplicity of pilot control. Extensive flight simulation and wind tunnel tests were conducted by General Electric and Ryan to ensure the successful development of the XV-5A. Over 600 hours of wind tunnel testing of four different scale models of the XV-5A configuration were successfully conducted. More than 500 hours of trouble-free testing of the full-scale propulsion system were completed. Coinciding with these tests were full-scale fan and wing model tests and 80 hours of wind tunnel tests of the full-scale XV-5A model by NASA's Ames Research Laboratory. 
Many of the major dimensions of these aircraft were determined by the geometric configurations of the propulsion system. By design, the wing fans were mounted as close inboard as possible. This permitted reductions in weight and minimum thrust loss. General Electric and Ryan engineers have incorporated maximum safety features and structural integrity in the design of the propulsion system and airframe. These include single engine flight capability, landing gear with emergency blowdown system, dual hydraulic and electrical systems, and a zero to 500 knot personnel ejection system. Scheduled flight tests of the XB-5A at Edwards Air Force Base, California, are expected to demonstrate the flight characteristics of the lift fan concept. Uh -huh.